Hi guys, welcome back to the Player YouTube channel. You join me today at the world famous Brands Hatch motor racing circuit here in England. And I'm here to meet a good friend of mine, a mixer, a mixer, a Mr. Max Coates, who is currently racing in the Quaife Mini Challenge, which is part of the bigger, oh shit. Hello. Right the, hello mate, how's Again. it going? Fancy seeing you here. Oh no. You've got a nice jacket on. I know, <laughs> yeah, I, I purposely put it on because I knew, I, thank you for sending it to me. It was That's really no problem at all. I thought I'd wear it and just See be it. part Good of old it. Royal Mail. <laughs> yeah, exactly. What will we do without them, mate? Thanks to them. Yeah, so still looking good. If you haven't gathered, guys, this is Max Coates. Hello. And um, Max, tell us quickly a bit about what this championship is all about. Yeah, so we're racing in the Mini Challenge UK. These are the JCW cars, so they deliver about 280 brake horsepower. 280? Yeah. <laughs> Front wheel drive, all identical. Wow. So, yeah, there's 30 of us on the grid, and uh, it's pretty close racing. So, yeah. we're always racing on the British Touring Car events. It's always a bit of atmosphere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, uh, yeah, there are <laughs> a handful to drive, as you'll probably be about to find out. Yes. I, well, we've been, I've sort of been following you on the TV, um, yeah. watching it, because it is televised over here. Um, Absolutely. And it's, it's just fabulous seeing how fast and how close the racing is. Yeah, the, these are pretty quick little pocket rockets, really. What made you want to get involved with the minis as against another you know, type of car, another so series? So prior to doing the minis, I used to do the, the Renault Clio Cup. Yeah. And was, uh, was a front runner in that. And the Clio Cup left and the mini filled its slot. Oh, so right, really, okay. it was a case of a continuation. Yeah. Um, I've looked at other series, you know, Genettas and that kind of thing, but the, the minis is probably follows slightly more of what I want to do with with, uh, with, a, with a, a view on British Touring Cars as my future. Because I actually met you, didn't I, in Genetta's? Yes, so I raced the player car way I back when. That. <laughs> in 2015? No. 2015, Was it that long ago? Maybe 2014. You one little, of those years. You were a little boy then. I was. We had a podium, didn't we, at Croft? We did have a podium. I remember that. Um, it was a good day out. Yeah, so it was a really good event. And yeah, um, yeah so I've done the Genetta's. I do a yeah. lot of work for Genetta now as a driver coach. So I, I work with them. Uh, GT Academy Rookie Series, so I've been there last weekend at Donington. Yeah. So yeah, I'm um, I'm still very much a, a part of things at Genetta, but okay. Yeah, race these cars as well. And as you said, next year maybe, hopefully touring car or the following year. What's yeah, the plan? it won't be next year. Next year will be Mini Challenge again, and okay. then the year after that will will definitely be touring cars. So got to ask the inevitable: How are you doing in this year's Mini Challenge? We are currently lying fifth in Championship. Okay. We have a, a chance at. Well, we could still win it. Um, really? I probably need a few. Uh, you sound surprised. No, 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 no. I didn't mean <laughs> you, uh, it. Like, I mean, be... Yeah, we're, we're, we're in with a shout of winning it, but re realistically, it's not going to happen. We, we, need, we need probably three people to not turn up all weekend. And um, yeah, <laughs> apart from some protesters ending up on the M25, I, oh, I think. Um, I've had enough of that. I think, yeah. we're, uh, I think we're probably not going to have that. So yeah, third is, third is a realistic chance, fourth is Good. on the cards. And, and we're in line to win the graduate championship, which is for the second year drivers. So nice. we, we've had a, we've had a, an okay year. It's been yeah. a bit mixed, but um, yeah, we've had one win, and it's just been unfortunately tied with a few few DNFs, few mechanical, yeah, yeah. Um, just random mechanical issues. One one bump for me, and well, I saw you a couple of, of weeks things. ago on telly. You had to withdraw. We right at the beginning of the race. I see you. Yeah, yeah that was a boost control valve that oh. failed. Just. That's, you know, that's motor racing though, isn't it? Yeah, it was fine in race two and the yeah. rest of the weekend we put it on pole, so yeah, there's yeah, nothing yeah. wrong with the car. And then it didn't work. So, fine. you know, sometimes that's just well, the way look, racing goes. Best of luck for this weekend. We're going to have you. a little bit more chat with you in a minute. Yeah. But uh, in between that, we're just going to show a few bits and pieces of your career and what you've been up to. Super. And then uh, we'll go and catch up somewhere with maybe a cup of tea or we'll sit out. Sure, the, we can sort that out. We'll, we'll go grab a brew. All right. Mega. Cheers, mate. Thanks, Andy. Catch you in a minute. So um, this is uh, Max's new race car. Yeah. <laughs> Rapid. So you put in an extra seat for yeah, me. Yeah, <laughs> you've got a coming for a passenger ride now. <laughs> I love it. Um, I've got Max's uh, mug as well. I do like these mugs. Yes. Yeah. Cheers, mate. Nice to see you. Um, so getting back to a few bits and pieces, what is your day job or are you full-time motor racing? Because a lot of people uh, don't <laughs> realise that you... How long have you got? So um, my... Not, not long. Not that long. <laughs> so uh, obviously for the next... 
three days. I think the best way is to kind of you know typify like a standard week. Yeah. So, for example, last last weekend I was coaching at Donington. Right. So I was there um, from Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, coaching uh, with a with a series. We had six drivers to look after. And okay. then, um, so, so these are like rookie drivers. Rookie drivers. The Ginetta GTA Championship is a, an, an entry, an entry point for people coming into motorsport. Sure. At quite a high level, um, that's supported by Ginetta's factory team. They have dri a driver coaches along like myself. Yeah. So that was that was my job. Sort of Thursday through to Sunday. Um, Sunday night I went home, and got one of my my old Clio Cup car ready. Right. That was out for a track day on the Tuesday back at Donington again. When you mean the track day, what, just a bit of fun or somebody yeah, booked it? Yeah, so or? it was, he's actually an old, a sponsor of mine's son. Um, he was having a go in the car. He's never done it before, wants to get into a bit of racing and sure. just wants to come and have a go, really. But the and cars are there for corporate events or people just to come and have a bit of a go. That's where I was going to so. go. So you, you actually, people can contact you and you will set the whole day up for That's them. That's it, yeah. So that business Perfect. is in the form of starting next year. Right. And, um, and then uh, alongside that, so the... You know, the evenings have been out for a meal with a customer who's been out the next day or been yeah. for another meeting with a, um, so, a business partner looking forward to this to be honest, day thing. This, this is a full-time job. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, with, with no days off. Yeah, um, literally. Yeah, and, you, you know, my day off last week was Monday right. where I what did, did some admin and re a <laughs> car and drove back to Donington Park again. So, <laughs> really, I... Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm away all the time. I'm at tracks most of the time. Yeah, I was going to say, you um, must be away a lot. Yeah, and you know my business is involved in motorsport, so yeah. I, I race for the team. I, I do help help to build this team now going forwards. We're looking to go to British Touring Cars in 2023, so we're, with we're currently this team. with this team. So we're currently in talks um, to, wow. to acquire licenses and go and race in, in British Touring Cars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I've got the business that's starting on the corporate track day side. I do the coaching. I race myself and look after the sponsors and do all that side of thing myself. So, <laughs> is there? A, and I've know. got a marketing business as well. <laughs> so um, yeah, so I'm, I'm a pretty busy guy. I gathered that by all the merchandise. Yeah, so I love, loving the merch. So yeah, the from a, I guess over the, the last couple of years, you know, the racing has, has been one thing, but um, I'm an I'm entrepreneurial guy, so um, I sure. want to try and develop businesses in the sport that I love and um, generally centred around people enjoying themselves within motorsport. So, so it's a lovely way if you can combine that exactly. with your living yeah. and your hobby and everything, it all becomes Yeah, my your passion life. is motorsport and yeah. my, my aim is to make it a business without losing that love and passion for it and uh, so far it's going all right. Well, I'll tell you what, speaking of passion, let's take a little bit more looks at, a uh, little bit more looks, a little more looks. <laughs> Trying to get my words around the right way in a minute. You're, you're doing my head in here. <laughs> uh, let's take a few more looks at what Max gets up to. So um, tell me a little bit about a typical race weekend, like we are here this weekend. We're at Brands Hatch, obviously. Yeah, so we're, we're at Brands Hatch. I arrived last night yep. straight from Donington Park again, where I was coaching yesterday. Yeah. So I, I got here whatever time, nine o'clock or something last night. We've, um, the team have been here setting up. Today, Friday, we have two practice sessions. So we right. had one uh, sort of 11 o'clock, and then we'll have another one at probably half past three, four o'clock this afternoon. So it's just a chance to fine tune the car, make sure everything is working, and, and for drivers to learn the circuit. Yeah. I'm doing less of that now because of 
I've driven them, so uh, I know the tracks. I've got right, just in the car. interrupting. How many times have you driven Brown's Hatch? Do you reckon, roughly? I, I will have done in excess of a thousand laps of the track. I'm fairly really? sure. I, yeah, yeah. Wow, that's, yeah. that's a few years. Yeah. Anyway, it's, sorry, um, I interrupted you. I was just curious. Yeah, well, I mean, I've, I've been racing on this package for twelve years, um, eleven years, and each year we've come to Brands Hatch twice. Right. And done three days at Brands Hatch each year, so I'll have done forty odd days here. So yeah, it's not inconceivable to think that there'll be a, a couple of thousand laps within that. That's amazing. Yeah. And on a typical race weekend, how many sets of tyres would you go through? Say on a dry weekend. Yeah, so we, we have a fairly tight tyre regulation within the Mini Challenge. So we're allowed six new tyres. Six sets or six? Six new tyres. That's not sets, it. just tyres. Right. So generally, we try and save them through to the racing rather than use them on the test day. Yeah. So today we're using older tyres. Okay. So we're allowed to carry 10 and six new. Okay, so you've got 16 tyres all in all. We've got 16 tyres all in all. Yep. And generally, we want the, the, the new tyres for the front because that's what's doing all the work. Sure. And we'll try and carry over some rear tyres from the, the other 10. I was about to say, the, the Mini is obviously a front-wheel drive car. Yeah. Um, but on the, the actual the setup, all the power's going to the front, I presume. Exactly, yeah. And so then, front-wheel drive, power's all at the front, yeah. steering's all at the front. So you're going to eat your way through tyres? Yeah, we eat, we eat our way through, particularly a left front on a right-handed circuit. So okay. that's the car, that's the tyre that's doing the most amount of work. Yeah. And equally, the rears don't do as much because they're just following it around. Sure. But it's important to have a good rear tyre so that the car doesn't break away when you're, when you're trying to corner. I have noticed in some of the, um, when I've been watching it on telly, you get a really good idea of you, when you go into a bend, sometimes the rear actually lifts off the floor, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, Which, that's right. So, so you're only on three wheels. That's because actually, <laughs> there was actually a picture at Croft this year where I was on one wheel. <laughs> <laughs> on one wheel, so you could see daylight under under the three but three other wheels. wheels so the front left was the only wheel touching the floor. That's mad. So um, yeah, I'll have to I'll have to send you that picture so you can put it on the video. But yeah, if you if you look close enough, you can see daylight under the other three, and that's uh, that's how much the car is working and pitching. Yeah, in the corner. right into. So sorry, carry on about the weekend. So we're, yeah, so we'll move through into Saturday, and yeah. that will be a qualifying and a race. Yeah, this weekend and then we'll move through into Sunday where we'll have two races. Okay. So the first race this weekend is just before the first touring car race. Right. So that one won't quite be live on the telly. And then this, our final race of the weekend is a reverse grid race, the reverse between 6th and 10th. Oh, right. Uh, okay. And then that will be, that will be on, live on telly on, uh, on Sunday afternoon. So you're qualifying on the Saturday? So we qualify on the Saturday. Yep. Our fastest lap time is, is race one's grid yep. position. Mm -hmm. Race two grid position is off the first race's finishing position. Right. And then the, sec the third race is off the second race finishing position with a swap between sixth and tenth, depending on what number we pick out of the hat. Oh, that basically. thing. Yeah, so I remember. It brings a little bit of controversy to it, and it, yeah. it makes it quite exciting, to be fair. Yeah, it certainly does. Um, yeah. I was going to say something then, but I'm going to veer away from that. Yeah. It's to do with touring cars. <laughs> but we'll let that one go until yeah. you're involved with touring cars. Um, speaking of touring cars, this is part of the Toka package, isn't yes. it? Yes. And that is touring cars, Mini, Porsche car. Yeah, Porsche Carrera Cup GB, the Ginetta Super Cup, so the bigger Ginettas. That's it. The Ginetta yeah. Juniors that I, I raced in first of all. Yeah. Uh, the Formula 4s and us as a mini challenge. And yeah, that so it's is quite a nice yeah. balance of cars, different types of yeah. cars. Yeah, and as a bit of a fact for you, I think in this paddock I'm the driver who's driven more cars than anybody else. Really? Yeah. More different cars. More different cars. cars. Yeah. So I've driven a front and rear wheel drive touring car. Okay. I've driven the minis, the Clios, the Porsches in the generation before this. Yeah. The Ginetta Juniors, yep. Ginetta Super Cup in both G50 and G55 variants. Wow. <laughs> um, I just, the only thing I haven't done is a single seater, and to be honest, I haven't really got that much interest in doing so. No, I don't think you've ever been a single seater, man. No, it's not. I'm a, I'm a racer, and um, yeah. I love the racing that, that Touring Cars provides. So that's, 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 my, that's my goal, that's my end. Let's um, take a little bit more, um, I was going to say, let's take a bit, little bit more looks. Let's take some more looks. <laughs> let's take some more looks, darling. <laughs> let's take some more looks at what he does. I like that. <laughs> We're going to keep that expression. The podium position settled. The race itself was far from over as Coates began to close on Bushel. Two seconds to just over half a second at the finish. Oates also securing the fastest 
lap, but ultimately it was a reversal of the 1-2 from last year's race in the same position with the championship leader taking the win from Coates with Rebecca third and Colburn in fourth. Max again, um, and I'm just really Max. I just want to finalise with you a few bits and pieces because I know you wanted to talk about the corporate side of your business as well. Um, explain to me what you're actually doing with that. Yeah, so obviously to go racing, we have to have a number of sponsors. Yeah, and the the, the business side of me away from here is that I do a lot of driver coaching. Yeah. So the the natural thing is that you try and merge the two together. So as well as sure. people being able to come and have a, a day out of the racing, I want people to be able to experience what I do. So. Sure. There's a, there's a corporate uh, track day business that will be starting into next year, which will offer the people the opportunity to drive cars that I've driven in my racing career. Okay. And uh, experience it on track with with somebody in the passenger seat to help them help well, along the way. Yeah, I was going to say, I mean, obviously, it, there's just you. Will you have other drivers aiding you? Yeah. And, okay, and these are obviously yeah. people, your friends. And... Yeah, friends and colleagues that are in the in that coaching world so and cars will you buy them or you rent them or yeah we'll we'll buy the cars so um in the process of sorting that out with an investor at the moment uh yeah so we'll have some some pretty cool cars not 100 percent sure what we're going to be uh getting the yet but uh don't spill the beans yet even no if you do we'll be know, uh yeah we'll, we'll we'll get there first but yeah it's going to be pretty exciting race cars or will they be road cars no they'll be race cars we're, we're very adamant on that that proper um, race cars yeah proper race cars we don't want to mess around and have, have have road cars um, the experience of driving on track should be in a race car. So Absolutely. That's, that's what we want to do. You know, they need to be stiff. They need to sound raw. They need to have a proper gearbox. They need to yeah. be fast and, um, and sound the part. So that's what we want. It's a, it's a I proper, mean, proper full-blown race car. To give people the opportunity to drive a race car is a lot of people have done the road cars, the Ferraris, the Porsches. Yeah. They do. I mean, don't get me wrong. Lovely cars to drive on a track. Yeah. But they Sure, road it's an cars. experience. We need a niche. And our niche yeah. is race cars and race drivers. Well, I think that's, you will score big time on that. So Hopefully. I'll, I'll definitely put my hand up for yeah. a day for that. Everybody wants to go, so yeah, clearly we're, on, we're yeah. on to a winner. Yeah, no. So uh, just finalising, last, last question to you, really, because I know you've got to get back to your debrief and stuff. Um, the, uh, when does Max get a break? Does he ever take a break yeah. from work? Do you go on holiday or anything? To be honest, I, I guess sort of start of the season is kind of a good time. We get to go away a little bit with, with pre-season testing. Yeah. So it's not a break because you're testing. But yeah, um, yeah I, uh, I love skiing. So that, that kind oh, of right. that okay. works hand in hand to have a little bit of time off over winter. So yeah. ideally, maybe just after Christmas and New Year, get myself away for a week or so and go skiing would be, would be ace. Yeah, but, yeah. Um, do it as early as possible. If anything yeah. goes wrong, I've got plenty of time to sort myself out. So. I'm just thinking, you know, what happens if you broke a leg? Oh, you do it, if you do, if you why do did it in, I even say that? If you do it in January, I'll touch some wood, Andy. <laughs> but if, um, yeah, if I uh, if I do it early enough, then hopefully there's uh, there's there's enough time for recovery. But um, yeah, I think it's you know anybody who's who runs their own business knows you don't you never really switch off. And um, sure. And in a way, for, for for people who are like that, probably quite enjoy it. So well, I think you're still young enough. You know, to yeah. you, you can crack the whip at both ends, That's or whatever it. they say. Yeah, I know what that expression yeah. is. <laughs> yeah, work hard, play hard is probably what my what my that's, dad would always better. say. And, burn um, the candle at both ends. Burn the candle at that's both the ends. That's the one. So, yeah. I've got something about whips at the moment. I don't yeah. know where it's going with that. No. Anyway, ignore that, everybody. <laughs> um, Max Coates, we'll you are amazing. You're such a lovely. <laughs> we're, we're on that note, on that bombshell. We're off. <laughs> we're out of here. Um, you're, you're always a lovely person to meet up with. You're, you're the life and soul of the the pit lane. Everyone knows that. You're a great character. I wish you all the best with everything. Um, it's been amazing to sit with you today. Enjoy a brew, as yeah. you call it, and um, watch you out on the track. So, Thanks very much, Andy. Thanks, Pleasure mate. to see you again. Uh, look and forward to more activities and adventures in, uh, in the not-so-distant future. With the player, hopefully. Yeah. I forgot to mention that. By the way, before he goes, um, Max is going to be helping out everything with the player next year to do with the motor racing. So keep watching and keep listening, because I'm not going to spill the beans yet. There you go.
Local Scott Waller, he's a wily fox. <laughs> I'm going to get a tattoo. <laughs> Max Coach, wily fox. <laughs> that might be his Tinder profile. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Max. Go on, you wily fox. Well, the weekend has been fantastic. Uh, some good racing as usual from all the series, uh, especially the Cleos. We had some good, two good races yesterday. Max, uh, along with Dorlin and Rivetta, gained very good uh, battle between those. And again today, the same thing. In the atmosphere again, uh, there's got to be close to 40,000 plus again here, uh, which makes for a brilliant atmosphere. Um, so. Yes, uh, and again, close access to the team uh, and everything like that is really good part of the team car package uh, overall. So yeah, we're, we're packing up. This is Andy Wilmot who also races in Cleo Cup. He's stolen my hat and he's having an ice cream. And I'm a big fan. He's a big fan. So it's kind of appropriate to end with a big fan in Wilmot and a Wilmot. So, um, <laughs>